So guys, I did lose quite a lot of my footage by accident um, that shows my arrival to St. Thomas and my way to St. Croix. This is the resort we were staying at. It's called the Carambola Resort. That's Nikita up there in a baby suit, as I call it. Um, and this resort was just so amazing. Carambola Resort in St. Croix. Wow. Welcome to our hotel room. This is the kitchen where no food will be made. The living room. Here, you've got the bathroom. And we are two ladies who like to do our morning rituals and whatnot. So, this is the poop room. That is lovely. And then when you come back out, this is the linen room. Nikita made, made a very good move on this hotel look at this look at this everything and then on this side you come out and there's a dun 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 and what is that a view i did not know that saint croix has a big its enslavement history is really tied to the Danish coming here, making sugar plantation. I was told they were absolutely brutal, so brutal that a black woman, a black enslaved woman called Queen Mary, because she was the queen of her village, literally burnt down 50 of the 150 plantations. You can always trust black women to get ish done. I don't want YouTube to ban me, but you always trust black women who've had enough to show you exactly why you should mess with them. I actually paid to come into this fort today. It's the Fort Frederick Museum. You will notice that a lot of the names here are named after Danish kings, Danish rulers, basically because this whole island has impact of Danish enslavement. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just picking up on my vlog because I forgot that I wasn't vlogging. And this is Fernando, musician, artist, extraordinaire. <laughs> so this is, this is the fort. There's a date up there called 1760 and it has a lot of history, a lot of history. Let's see what it says here. This is the cistern. Rainwater was collected on the gun deck. Wow, gun deck, they weren't playing. So again, lots of historical monuments, lots of history in these walls. Lots of white people who did a lot of damage to this island, but that shouldn't surprise you. This is when they were lowering the Danish flag in St. Thomas, the end of their rule. So if you come to St. Thomas, please, please, please do visit. Please visit Fort Knox, get a little bit of history lesson, and you will find out a lot more than I can even tell you in this vlog. Okay, so the fort that I was in earlier today, guys, just to make you aware, it's not really an active fort. It was built to basically keep the enslaved uh, black population in check. So that's where they would punish, like, you know, the unruly ones, etc., yeah, etc. Exactly, yeah. It's all fakery. This is yeah. how, you know, certain people maintain the power that they have. Yeah. It's the power of the mind. Yeah. Think about that. Sugar plantation, 1750 to 70s, sugar cane plantation from 70 to... What? Rum okay. distillery. 12, oh, yeah? Wow. Rum distillery from 1780 to 1860. So that's <laughs> after emancipation even. Yeah. Two rum still, 1885, great house. Abandoned then in 1899. What happened then? I don't know what happened then. Probably not used oh, anymore. Yeah, in, oh, it was Citrus Farm. farm. In 86. I was born in 84. Oh. See, these here will connect to animals. Yeah, and, and they'll be around. walking around yeah, milling. Circle. Yeah, and this here, these yeah. are made out of wood. Most of them is made out of uh, steel. Yeah. Sugar cane in there. Yeah. And you see, go to the back right here. And then it comes out here. Yeah, it comes out here, yeah. Wow. 
What is that? Dungeon? Dungeon, Dungeon for what? The people? Of course. The the people then. Oh my god. And I think the last time I've been here, they had some kind of apparatus in there. <sighs> this man. Yeah. This is one of the dungeons, guys. Yeah. You know what it's here for. I need to peep that down. No, okay, no problem. Just you pop over there. Yeah, I would have never seen this, guys. No, you don't know Unless Swain took me here. Well, so, you gotta see the beauty in this now. Um, yeah. The African is who build this. Well, guys, you heard it, right? Basically, a lot of West Africans were here building these plantations, working in them, being enslaved in them. Sure. Probably a lot <laughs> of people on the island have West African blood in them. No, that's you know? Facts. That's facts on facts. That's facts. And this one, I don't know if it's a heritage site or if it's an Airbnb at the top. Both are both Airbnbs. They're both Airbnbs. <laughs> Not owned by black people, I'll tell you that. No, Hi, puppy. Sugar cane, let me zoom out. I remember, we don't have permission to be in here, so let's get out of here. We ain't gonna tell nobody. No, we ain't gonna tell nobody. We gonna pick some sugar cane and eat it. <laughs> be careful of the boa constrictors. The people are the ant nest. Hey. Among us, ant nest. Ant? Yeah, man. Hey. Big ants, nah, me and ants don't get along. Well, <laughs> cute. We got some sugar cake. Yes. <laughs> I just had to make a pit stop, get some cash because I have to pay Swain, obviously, for taking me around town and all of the beautiful places that he showed me with not so beautiful history. But all in all, I'm I'm very satisfied with today. I don't know if that's him beeping me. I'm not sure. But he's supposed to come back and get me. I am in the town right now. And it's almost... Well, the sun is about to set, I guess. Oh, I think that's him coming. I... Okay, guys, I'm back at the hotel. I'm starving. The whole ordeal today got me so tired. So I'm gonna order some food and eat it and shower, pack my stuff, prepare for the journey tomorrow. So let's see what I'm gonna get today. Zuno and drinks. Stop it. Home time, guys. It's now time to head home. Well, head to St. Thomas, back to St. Thomas. Today is going to be a St. John's sightseeing day. So I dressed it easy. You get a little bit of thigh meat. And yeah, a bit sad to be leaving St. Croix, but it's life. All good things must come to an end. So I can't wait for what's next. Got a lot more travel. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? Um, I didn't sleep enough. Yeah. <laughs> Did you eat well? Um, you guys sleep well? Not enough. <laughs> I'm gonna try and sleep on the ferry. I wish you luck. Hey. Oh my goodness. I slept all the way here. I got too tired. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm too scared to do anything. I might as well sleep. We're going on a boat, we're going on a boat, on a boat, on a boat. I love it. I guess he's sick. The way I'm excited, you wouldn't be able to tell. But trust me. Hey! Thank you. Hey. Trying to get me off. Trying to get you off. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. We will be back, God willing. 
Samurai gave me a headache. Ten out of ten do not recommend you take the ferry to St. Croix. This shit is rocky. Wait, our bags. Is it this way or this one? Okay. Have, when it weighs our bags coming out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, this boat is rocky, it's choppy. I feel sick to my stomach. The water is clear though. Okay, finally guys, we're about to taste some actual Caribbean food. I don't know if grits is Caribbean, but for sure, I'm going in to have oxtails. I was tempted by curry go with some rice and peas, plantain, and fresh veggies. We're tired of the freaking Caesar salads. Ooh, ooh, okay. And they have coleslaw. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, here come our drinks. Oh, that was quick. Thank oh, yeah. you. Mango, banana, strawberry. Thank you. One. Here's our drink. The room is right at the top. Yeah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, she can't handle my hot sauce. I can handle your no, hot sauce. No, stop it. You, you're worse. You are worse. It's not. Okay. But just imagine being okay, up here guys. with how rough the water was. <laughs> so we're taking the boat to St. John's now. Wish us luck. A bigger ferry at least. So I'm hoping it'll be less. Choppy. Let's chop I want to let you guys know it is a pleasure to have you on St. John. Welcome to St. John. The island is 19 square miles and 9 miles long, 5 miles wide. Yeah. The population of St. John is a little over 7 or 8 thousand people on St. Oh. John. Two thirds of St. John is National Park. This is the first stop at St. John's and what you're looking at here. Yeah. I'll let you know what you're looking at. Says Neptune's lookout. What you're looking at right here. And all this is Okay guys. So this is Neptune's lookout. Susanna Berg. Former sugar plantation. The moment I saw that, I was like this was a previous plantation. Um wow. Okay, so you see that? Every time you see that, it used to be a prosperous plantation of some sort. Okay, we are like at the highest point of St. John's. Dun, dun, dun. It does think it's like baby poop. I'm always like, how can... So yesterday, guys, you saw the Wim Estate uh, sugar plantation. This is similar to it. We will go around and we will check the wing mill, the horse mill that I showed you guys yesterday. We'll see the enslaved people's quarters and we will also go around. So this will be interesting. <sighs> Video, Annaberg Trail. This was the slave quarters? Oh shit. Household, sorry. Wattle and Dove, so mud hut. On the slope below is where they lived. Look, there. Uh, again. Yeah, these would have been the enslaved person's quarters. I don't like saying slave quarters because they were not slaves. They were enslaved people. This is quite upsetting. 
but also just a lot to take in. Just an absolute lot to take in. Literally paradise, but mountains on either side and sea to the front. And the water is not deep, you can literally walk out quite deep, far before it gets deep. Bye beach, our ride is here. Yes, I'm pretty sure I do. Got my mobile. See, there we go. Look at this is the town, St. John's Town. Amazing. Night time. We were supposed to go home, but we just gonna go eat some food because we smelt it. So whoever dealt it is gonna give it. Yes. Yeah. We should be going home, but we're gonna go have some dinner at St. John's. Um, we've heard and smelled good things there as we were passing it, so that's where we're gonna go. Have some food so when we get back to the hotel, we can just shower, get the sand and the salt off us, and go to bed. Makeup is all messed up, but we're about to get back on the boat to go back to St. Thomas. I have to tie my hair up, it's all tangly mess. And I'm looking forward to getting back to the hotel and checking in. Yes, let me put on my mask before we go the boat. Yay! That's Curtis, he's just come to pick us up. <laughs> Told you guys I was here. Yeah, we texted you too. Like we're here. <laughs> there we go. How was it? It was good. It was amazing. Oh yeah, how was the food? Amazing. We had street food. You had what? Street food. Yeah, street food. Oh yeah. Oh, you guys had the um outside space. Yeah. That one spot right here. So yeah, if it's, if it's the same, yeah. Yeah, that one. The ribs okay. and the chicken yeah. like and it? the rice. They got some very rich. That's what we have. Yes. Curtis, where did you park? Right. <laughs> oh, home. Home. Oh, what is home for the moment? Good morning. So today we're going to a beach, but first we are gonna go get some fruit and then. We're going to the beach because it's our last day here. So we might as well get our best. All right, guys, we got some mangoes. We're going to eat that tonight. Don't forget your food. No, 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 no. <laughs> I suck at this. I'm trying to multitask. And some toys. So when you come to St. Thomas, come visit my friend <laughs> and buy some mangoes, some passion fruit, some wine. They got everything. Okay, who wears uh, high heels to the beach? I do, I do. Nikita's being more comfortable whilst I'm like, fuck this shit. You only
Okay. I make her is try the, the bomb. We're just waiting for the beat to drop. <laughs> if it's not today, tomorrow morning when you go bathroom, it's, it's going to drop. Yes, oh it's going to drop. drop. You saw me this morning. I was like, Lord, help me. Uh uh, uh uh. Spent a whole day by the beach today. Took some pictures. What's this beach called again? Koki. Koki Beach? At Koki Beach. As you can see, I got me a little bit of a time. I love it and we're gonna go home go to the hotel change and then we're gonna have dinner and then go to a strip club called Tootsies later get up get up get up get up get up okay I'm dressed Beetlejuice if you say three times I'll show up and whoop your ass um, we're going to a strip club um, we're gonna just go check it out haven't been to any of those activities even in Sweden. So it'll be fun to give it a try and see what's up, what's up, what's up. So let's see what we see. Calm down. I lost all my money in the strip club. A whole month's rent, pretty much. <laughs> it's time to go. Did you leave anything in the closet? No. I didn't unpack this time. Morning view. I'm gonna miss that. I don't wanna go home. Alright, lovely. So I am now by my lonesome for three hours before I have to be at the airport and my flight leaves. My traveling partner just left because their flight was a little bit earlier than mine. So I thought I'd just take a stroll around town, see what I see, show you guys more of St. Thomas as well because I lost so much footage that it's probably easier if I just do like a quick trip around today. It's extremely hot, extremely hot, I'll tell you that now. Um, and windy. I hope the audio is not going to be too bad. We shall see. There's literally so many different musics playing. It's hard to keep a train of thought on one music or the other. Like, it's like a food place. Wow. They literally just started pissing it down, guys. Out of nowhere. The rain started coming <sighs> unexpectedly. Look at that. One thing I've noticed while being here is no matter what island you're in, people are very courteous. Like, if you pass people on the street, they'll be like, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Like, just very courteous. Um, I really appreciate, appreciate that and one thing I've also noticed is that the men aren't very pushy here like I feel absolutely attractive beautiful when I'm around black people I'll just say that now but they're not on your case like following you or like pestering you maybe it's because I don't live here but I don't get that vibe anyway people are pretty appreciative courteous leave you alone kind of thing um, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely have to visit again because I really enjoyed myself. I genuinely do. But we shall see how long it takes to for another travel to happen. I'm going to Costa Rica next.